Welcome back, folks. Uh, glad to see you. Uh, today I wanted to address, I've had a few people email me and asking about the lights. I had done an um, affordable light upgrade video for the uh, LEDs, and some people had a few questions about them, what they were and stuff. So, uh, first and foremost, I just wanted to tell people if you have a question, that's great. I have no problem trying to help anybody with anything I can. Um, but I do ask, maybe post it as a comment, that way others can see, and then if I answer the question, it can actually be answered for everybody. That all aside, I did want to tell you a little bit more about these. So these are the lights that I upgraded to. Um, as you can see, I am running uh, two actinic bulbs as uh, supplemental lighting there. I still got to tidy everything up in there, it was just as I was testing things out. Um, I do have one out right here, but I was finding that I'm warming up a little bit in the tank because I took the fans out that were in for the halides. So I've put just one cheapy uh, $10 computer fan in there, a tower fan, and I'll probably add a second one there. I actually cooked the second one, so i got to get another one. But uh, back to the lights. So these are the lights here. Um, I, uh, I got them for their <clears throat> $65 each at the store I got them from, is what they sell them for. But online, the cheapest I could find was $100 plus shipping, like $20. So you're looking at about $120 a piece, unless you're lucky and you can find them cheaper like I did. Even eBay wasn't uh, a good spot. There are cheaper ones, but they're not designated L or, uh, for reef. So these have the blue, the white, and UV. So uh, you definitely you want those. Um, let's see, I think I have a box right here I can show you. This is the only information I got on them, though. So this was a gamble on... You know, because there's no name brand, there's nothing. However, the reef store, and it's one that I deal with fairly regularly, he uh, he was happy with the quality of them. He has them on a couple of his tanks just to uh, for testing purposes. And they seem to be doing okay for him, and he's a reef store. So if you can't trust your reef store, then you, who can you trust, right? Um, so I wanted to show you, though. So that's the lights. They screw in normal. Um, this was my little jerry-rigged light assembly, which, I, like I said, I have two out, and I'm going to buy two more. On a 48-inch tank, this is 22 inches deep, four lights. Um, you guys have seen <clears throat> how deep that uh, is. But the light seems to hit the bottom pretty good. Um, for coral growth, we'll have a look. There's... Right off the bat, there's something I've noticed, but I don't know if I can attribute it to the lights, which is I'm getting some red. It's not really um, like cyanobacteria, though. It's almost like iodine. Look, I'll actually stick my hand in and touch it. It's kind of been going away now, so it may not come off on my hand, but I was getting it before, and it was coming off like as if I had had my hand in iodine. It's kind of weird. But I don't know if it's from that. I've done a few different things. I had magnesium and stuff, but I just I want to throw it out there just in case. Other than that, I so far have had zero bad side effects. Um, if you can see, the uh, hairs are all extended, or so which we, I guess you would call polyps on that. Um... Since installing these lights, there's two little pieces of SPS back there that have come back to life. This one, right up front, I know it's hard to pick up on this camera. Um, it's got a uh, little bit of green. I don't know if you can make that out or not. But anyways, it's just coming back to life. And then the big stick right there at the back, it's full of green. Once again, iPhone's... Um, aren't incredibly fancy for recording. So, that um, being said, coral growth seems to be pretty good under them. I can definitely tell the zinnias are a lot happier under them. They've gotten a lot bushier since installing these lights. 
Um, mushrooms, they do quite well. They're, uh, that's the Superman mushrooms or whatever, red with the little blue dots. Um, everything else seems good. Uh, so it is kind of early to say yes or no for, for a product, but it seems like it's going okay. So that, I don't know really what else to say about the lights. You can, I'll give you a good look over it though, so you can really see what you're getting. Um, I guess if you wanted to, you could open one up. It's got screws all in it, so you could open it up and see basically how it works if you wanted, but I don't really need to do that. So there's that again. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I believe they'll be dimmable. I haven't tried, but uh, I think most LEDs nowadays are, so if you had an electronic dimmer, you could um, turn them down. I'd like to get one that would simulate sunrise and sunset, but it's not really a big deal. They just come on an hour after the actinic uh, T5s. So, with all that in mind, we're going to throw one back up. And pray I don't drop it in the tank. And give you another view here. So, if you can see, I don't know how well it's showing, but there's um, the... What do we got? We got six blue, four white, and two UV. So that's what's in there. They don't uh, look very bright on the camera. I realize that, but they actually are uh, pretty bright. So, sorry about the shaky guys. Anyone that watches my regular videos knows my hands shake. Um, that's it. And there's a little blue asshole right there. If you have a reef tank, I'm going to suggest don't get the blue tang. He's freaking horrible. All he does is take corals and throw them. I hate him. But I'll have a hard time catching him. So, and say goodbye to Black Clownfish. He's gone. I sold him, which made these guys happy. Because he, uh, he had issue with them. They were here first, really. So, I got to, you know, I got to stand by these guys. Alright guys, so hopefully that, you know, helps out with the explanation of these lights. I really, I don't know too much about them, other than just, uh, you know, I've got nothing invested for being honest with you, so I don't need to lie or anything like that. So as of right now, I'm going to say we're a few weeks into them. They seem like they're doing well. Obviously my corals are all fully open, um, so they're responding well to them. Everything seems okay. I'm actually I'm getting coral growth. Like I added that a um, couple weeks ago, and it's been starting to close up where it was cut. So it is growing, which is good. Um, all I don't have any corals that seem disappointed with them. So everything seems good. The GSP rocks finally turning green. In another video, I explained what happened with that. It didn't didn't have a very good little while. But, uh, hopefully, you guys have enjoyed this video. Hopefully, it'll help. If you have any questions, um, definitely don't be shy. You can ask anything, and I'll try to help. But uh, please put it as a comment, just because it could your question could be on someone else's mind, and maybe they don't want to ask. But maybe you know, if it was there anyway, they would at least get their answer. All right. Have a good one, guys.